Hello everyone. Thanks for tuning in to AmeriLogic. What are totem poles for? And why do they exist? The meaning and designs on totem poles are as varied as the cultures which produce them. Totem poles may recount familiar legends, clan lineages, or notable events. Some poles are erected to celebrate cultural beliefs but others are intended mostly as artistic presentations. In North America, totem poles are part of the cultures of many indigenous peoples of Alaska, British Columbia, and the Pacific Northwest. Totem poles serve many purposes beyond their beauty. They are monumental carvings, a type of Northwest coastal art consisting of poles, posts, or pillars carved with symbols or figures and usually made of wood. A totem pole is a spirit being, a sacred object, or a symbol of a tribe, a clan, or family, or an individual. Real totem poles continue to be carved and raised to this present day. Today, totem poles are created for both native and non-natives. They have come to represent more than a kinship system. Today, they represent Northwest Pacific Coast native tradition and pride. The world's thickest and oldest totem pole is located in Duncan, British Columbia on Vancouver Island. It's six foot in diameter and was carved under proper protocols and was made from very old thick cedar tree. Native American tradition provides that each person is connected with nine different animals that will accompany him or her through life, acting as guides. Sometime you'll see animals on totem poles. A power animal is something you will see. A power animal is a shamanic belief of which spirit guides help and protects individuals, lineages, and nations. A spirit guide is a spiritualist entity that remains a spirit to act as a guide or protector to a living incarnate human being. Totem animals are animals revered as sacred or possessing supernatural powers. Now, to be authentic, a totem pole needs to be sanctioned. This means it must pass certain tests. First, it must be made by a trained Northwest Pacific Coast Native person or, in rare cases, a non-Native apprentice who was approved by a Northwest Pacific Coast band from a coastal British Columbia or Alaska. You may see some of these animals on a totem pole. You might see a wolf, which is a symbol of guardianship ritual, loyalty, and spirit. The wolf teaches us to trust our own hearts and minds and to have control over our own lives. To Native Americans, the butterfly is a symbol of ch change, joy, and color. It's considered a miracle of transformation and resurrection. In the old world, it was thought to be the spirit of the dead. You might see an alligator, which means survival and stealth, or an ant which is diligence, industry, hard working, patience, success, and strength. Or you might see an owl representing wisdom, or the antelope for action, or an armadillo, which is boundaries and self-protection. You might see a badger, which means aggression, passion, and drive, or a bat, which is rebirth, joy, longevity, and good luck. So if you are fascinated with totem poles as I am and always have been from a child, do some research of your own and you'll discover a fascinating world of magic and culture that is rich and diverse. The indigenous people who created the totem pole have brought a rich legacy to the whole world. They have given us a contribution of mystery and beauty. Well, subscribe, like, be a genius, Think for yourself. And this has been a Marilogic channel.